Hello, welcome to the Enterprise AI Minute, your journey into the real world AI future. This episode is brought to you by Cloud Wars Expo, running June 28th through 30th at the Moscone Center in San Francisco, California. And I'll be there leading tracks and sessions alongside Bob Evans, founder of Cloud Wars, and the rest of my Acceleration Economy analyst colleagues. For further details, be sure to go to cloudwarsexpo.com and I hope to see you there. Can you feel the energy and optimism the cloud has created? Its impact on everything from the way healthcare is delivered to how we order dinner. And this is just the beginning. The door to our digital future with the cloud is just starting to open. Join thousands of CXOs June 28th to 30th in San Francisco, California at Cloud Wars Expo to explore this digital future. Something that many of us take for granted in our daily lives is our clothing. Yes, some people are heavily invested in this apparel industry, uh, such as designers or bespoke tailors, for example, or fashion aficionados. But from a manufacturing perspective, this is a massive sector um, underneath that manufacturing industry that is seeing AI infused into this process more and more. Now, of course, much of this progress of AI within manufacturing is typically overshadowed by IoT in uh, machinery and in, in the process of creation of products. Yes, this is still a huge need, and but we're seeing some unique areas uh, with benefits uh, for AI for the textile industry. Now, according to Analytics Steps company, there are six unique areas where AI is being applied. Yarn manufacturing, fabric grading, fabric pattern inspection, pattern making, color management, and merchandising. Now, this was quite interesting to me because I didn't think about all those various components within the textile industry that are required to create the clothing that we wear or the materials used for say upholstery for example one thing i found uh, quite interesting was that in the fabric patterns area uh, ai is being used to reduce human mistakes in facilitating fabric inspection uh, what this really done is uh, typically this was a heavy time intensive process uh, manually done to identify pattern faults uh, as this uh, fabric is being stitched together and such coming throughout the machinery process. And another crucial area is the fabric grading, which again, you learn something new every day and it helps identify the fine solid or staple fiber. This in turn helps determine the best materials to be used for certain applications, like I mentioned, clothing or, say, upholstery. Now, the long-term benefits of using AI in the textile industry is it really bolsters the sustainability goals of many companies that have, like, the 2030 and 2050 goals in place. This can help reduce fabric waste, make better use of the materials, and those materials being used for the right purposes. Uh, how many times have you seen the wrong material used on, say, furniture, and it wore out, it seems like, the next day? So sturdy materials used for clothing and for upholstery or uh, patterns that match and don't look really weird and out of place. Now, the sustainability efforts, that really sounds like a worthwhile goal to me, where I always mention AI being practical and real world and its applicability. Because remember, the future of AI depends on what we do now. So stay real, stay you.